what's going on people i just wanted to check in you know see how y'all was doing just give a little mental health checkup and i just wanted to give you a message and just tell you to be strong i've been seeing a lot of things and i've received you know many messages about things like suicide depression and just giving up and not wanting to live anymore and just you know thinking that things don't get better but I know it may not mean much, but I'm just here to tell you that it will get better, but you have to allow things to get better, and you know, you matter. Your opinions matter, your thoughts matter, your emotions matter. You matter as a whole. You are special, and even if, you know, you've been given rough situations and rough circumstances, things will get better, and sometimes we just need to change the scenery. And that could be getting away from certain people, getting to new people, or getting to new places and trying new things. Just trying a different approach in life. But it's all about you allowing it to get better. It doesn't seem like it will sometimes. It seems like you're just stuck in a loop and nothing ever gets better. But you just got to keep moving. Because I'm pretty sure you could think of times that were worse that you made it through. And you could think of times that you uh, rather live again if you know what I mean so you just got to keep those things in mind and just continue to move forward and continue to make progress and continue to seek the things that make you you know full of joy things that fulfill you I just encourage people to never get up give up because I know how easy it is to give up I know how easy it is to get down I know how easy it is to stay down or be pulled down when you feel well but it's, it's never worth it to me to stay that way I've never personally dealt with suicide I've always loved my life even when you know I've got down to my worst I've wanted to disappear many times sometimes I still want to disappear and get away from everybody and everything but I've never wanted in my life life is just so precious and you know we are privileged to live it you just think about the amount of people and amount of things you know living beings that never made it you know, the ones that came here, and you know, they, they dropped out early, if you know what I mean. It's just, it's just crazy to think about those numbers. So each and every moment I'm here, I try to stay uh, grateful, show gratitude, and just value what I have, and even have an opportunity to go through things. Things aren't always sweet, but it's about moving past them and what you learn from it and just the experiences you get from it all. But... I don't want you to give up, man. I know it feels like nobody cares, but if it means anything, I care. I can't talk to everybody. I can't respond to everybody. I do my best and I try, you know, and, you know, sometimes I put myself on the back burner and still try to help people. I learned, you know, um, about doing that and I burnt myself out and put myself in a hole, but I still, you know, I do my due diligence and try to help as many people as I can, even if it affects me in a way, but you know, like I said, I can't reach everybody. So hopefully, you know, my videos, my words, my messages, um, the music, you know, just my presence alone, whatever it may be. I hope some of that helps. But um, I'm going to continue to keep doing what I do and improve every day and try to reach as many people as I can every day, because it is a very serious matter. And I don't think people see how serious it is in a way. And I also don't think people recognize how miserable a lot of people are. I remember when I was in my, um, you know, my lowest points, I would scroll on social media and I would see all this sad, relatable stuff. And it would like, it would take my progress and throw it out the window. I seen some stuff just a few minutes ago that me three months ago would have got set back like six months into my healing journey. You know what I mean? But when you're healing and you're trying to find that better meaning in life, when you're trying to find that better energy, social media is honestly not the place for it. Being on your phone, being on these websites and all this stuff is honestly not the place for it because it's like you always run across something that's just going to resonate with the lowest vibrational part of yourself, whether that's your bad habits, whether that's your negative thoughts. It's just nothing really good comes from it. So my advice to you, like I mentioned in a few videos before this just go outside get some fresh air connect with nature go for walks work out be active um, transfer all that negative energy that you are seeing into some positive force 
you know, do the things that you always love, do the things you always wanted to do. If you always wanted to go run with your shoes off, go run with your shoes off. If you always wanted to paint, you know, with your fingers, go finger paint. If you always wanted to go hunting or fishing, go hunting or fishing. You know, if you wanted to go try new foods, go try new foods. Just try something, do something. The worst thing you can do is sit still and be quiet because as you know, when you get quiet, everything gets loud. And when you don't do anything, you don't move, everything starts to move and shake and it shakes your soul. So you have to do something. You don't want to distract yourself to the point where you're running away from your healing process, but you want to keep doing something and you want to start doing something. Because just recently, I went back into a slump, but it was because I was sitting there. I was sitting still. I was sitting inside of my mind instead of doing stuff. And it's hard to start. But once you start, it gets a little easier. Then you start to catch a rhythm. Then it it gets hard to stop because you start to feel better in doing things. So, you know, moral of the story, man, just stay strong. Keep fighting. And I'm proud of you. You are special. You do matter. And... I commend you for your strength, you know. You probably feel like you can't make it or you're not strong enough or you're not important, you're not special, but you're still here. You're listening to this message, so that has to mean something, you know what I mean? I don't know what you believe in, but something out there believes you deserve another chance because you're watching this right now. So I'm just proud of you, man. I'm just proud of you, and I hope you continue to stay here and, um, I hope I have a positive impact on you. Yeah. I just hope you live your best life, man. I hope you don't let people dictate the way you feel about yourself. I hope you don't let people and things outside of you dictate the quality of your life. I hope you see your true value and I hope you see, you know, how beautiful you are inside and out, truly, not by anybody else's standards. And I hope you finally realize it is time for you to make a change and accept peace for you and embrace peace in you and accept and embrace love in you. So, short, sweet, not going to waste any more of your time. Uh, I love you. I want you to take care of yourself, get you something to eat, take you a nice shower, go listen to some music, go for a walk, go relax, go do something. And uh, I wish you the best.